Ryan Coogler, you have a long career ahead of you. This is the film that my husband would have loved. And I tell you, I thank you for making a film like this. I have a son here, I have grandsons. Sometimes it is so difficult for an African American guy out there on the street, no matter what his circumstances, to take something that sometimes people see as just a statistic and put a human face on the story. Bless you. <laughs> Steve James, what a beautiful, beautiful introductory tribute film that is. I remember sitting with Roger the first time he saw Hoop Dreams. He was practically levitating out of his seat. <laughs> he and Gene Siskel loved that movie so much, and he wanted to do everything he could to promote it. I remember Jason Reitman is here. I remember when he saw Juno. And I know there's some other filmmakers here. Ava DuVernay. I remember when he saw your film. He said what all of these have in common, just like Ryan said, storytelling. They tell stories that we hadn't seen before, that we hadn't heard before. It was so important. Storytelling, and that's what he loved about Sundance. He also likes big studio movies, but the thing that he said about Sundance is that's where you saw the seeds of humanity, of what made us tick, of what made us understand more about each other, be more empathetic. The word kindness was so important to him. He was so curious. He was an amazing man. I tell you, I loved him so much because I saw the light in him. People said when he was sick, Yes, his appearance changed, but you know, when I looked at him, I saw beauty. I saw perfection because I saw inside his soul. I'm going to read something that he wrote. He didn't write it, he told this to me. We are gathered here this evening because Robert Redford is a man of great integrity. He could have used his celebrity and fame for self-aggrandizement, but instead he chose to use his gifts and abilities to reach beyond himself, to share and inspire others. This is what integrity is, not an aspect of character, but the illustration and embodiment of it. And for this, I commend him not because he seeks recognition, but because he helps all of us recognize the value that this work and its ability to give meaning to life possesses. We think creativity is a magical occurrence, but truly it is imagination's breath and flesh. I thank you, I thank each and every one of you for being here tonight to honor Roger, to honor Ryan Coogler, to honor all of the alums of the Sundance Institute. Roger said what you did, Bob, is one of the most important things for American independent cinema. Looking at this tonight, helping over 6,000 filmmakers, and thank you so much for naming that new award, scholarship after Roger. He's an amazing man. You are amazing for being here. Thank you. <laughs>